The next generation of digital input Class D audio amplifiers are emerging onto the mobile audio market scene, providing tremendous benefits like reduced power consumption and circuit complexity, lower noise susceptibility, and lower system cost. Maxim's Max 98357 and Max 98358 are single-channel digital input Class D audio amplifiers designed to be placed remotely from the audio hub because they are immune to most board routing design issues. Since they are digital input amplifiers, their inputs are immune from noise pickup of traditional analog amplifiers. At the same time, they do not require a master clock source that is typically needed by digital input amplifiers. This allows for simpler design layout and reduced component count, while providing high 0.0013% THD plus N, over 100 dB dynamic range, and 3.2 watts of output power. Traditional analog input Class D amplifier systems require a modulator, DAC, and line driver amplifier in the application's processor, adding die cost, power consumption, and noise to these speaker outputs. These Class D amplifiers also require careful board design to avoid degradation caused by unwanted signals coupling onto the analog output traces. The MAX 98357 eliminates the problems associated with analog Class D designs. It accepts pulse code modulated, I2S, or left justified data via only three digital inputs. The digital audio input allows it to be placed close to the speaker, reducing losses in the high power analog traces. Because the digital input signals are immune from unwanted noise that can couple into the input traces, noise such as 217 Hz GSM buzz is eliminated. Placing the amplifier close to the speaker also eliminates the need for large bulky LC filters, and in many cases, even ferrite bead plus capacitors filters associated with traditional Class D amplifier designs. It does not require a system master clock to operate properly or with the highest quality. The MAX 98357 also supports eight channel TDM audio data, Systems that implement surround sound or audio spatialization can require each speaker has different inputs. It can accept up to eight channels of audio data in TDM mode. This allows up to eight different input speaker signals to be supplied via one TDM line. The left-hand block diagram is a system with speakers driven via I2S. For each speaker to get its own unique input, every two speakers would need a unique I2S bundle of lines to drive the audio. The many routes needed to drive each speaker through I2S would create more EMI and would complicate the routing scheme. In contrast, the right-hand block diagram shows a system with speakers driven via TDM. As you can see, one TDM line can supply all speakers with different signal, greatly simplifying routing and reducing EMI and board coupling issues. For applications processors using pulse density modulation, the MAX 98358 accepts a standard PDM input via two digital input pins. The single-bit PDM data eliminates the need for a DAC and line driver on the application's processor, allowing for a simpler, lower-cost processor, reducing power consumption, and lowering system cost. Digital input filterless Class D audio amplifiers allow simple board-level implementation, a small bill of materials, high efficiency, low EMI, and high 3.2 watt output power. These devices are excellent choices for applications like industrial devices, navigation devices, medical equipment, home appliances, and portable audio devices such as cell phones and tablets. Maxim's digital input Class D amplifiers are plug-and-play hardware devices requiring no programming to operate. These devices can tolerate up to 12 nanoseconds of clock jitter, while maintaining 100 dB of dynamic range and superior THD plus N performance. Single supply operation eliminates the need for multiple power supplies, simplifying board design and reducing component count. Maxim's audio products provide innovation and efficiency with uncompromised audio performance. For more information, please visit www.maximintegrated.com audio.